G'day guys. If you've been following my channel for any amount of time, you may recognize this particular spot as a place where I had a load of fun float fishing for carp and even saw a big fish I named Captain Lure Head because he had a giant lure stuck in the side of his head. Didn't quite catch him that day, but that was filmed a year ago to the day. So I thought, why not celebrate the anniversary of that fun experience by coming and seeing if they're fired up again. The well, last time I had all my luck on frozen shrimp tails. This time I've brought the almighty Janjuk fishing worms. Look at those things. Fish can't resist them. And if there's any carp in this hole today, they'll take those. And there you go, that's how I'm rigging it today. Under the float, plenty of worm tail flopping around in the current to try and get the fish's attention. I've gone through three or four times up the top here, leave the rest dangling. And there's probably about, I'd say, a foot and a half of leader between the float stopper and the uh, split shot sinker down the bottom there. And then another couple of inches to the hook. That's what worked for me last time, about that length. I'll try that again today. Let's get the bait out there and make something happen. I'm just watching my float as it drifts around in the current and then the back current. It'll just keep doing circles here. And I'm also looking around for signs of carp. Last year when I was here, I could see them swimming around under the water. I could see them jumping around over there. So I'm also looking around for any signs of them in the area. I don't know, the conditions just seem right today. I've got a good feeling. Got him, yes. You ripper. My floater was sitting over there in the bubbles and I actually lost track of it. And then I saw my uh, line going out and out. And it's not a carp. I think that might be a silver perch. Let's go over here and have a look at him. <laughs> First fish on the board. Don't stress, you'll get to swim away. You're not one of those smelly carp that I have to uh, deal with. You beauty. Not a bad silver perch either. I'll wet my hands for a little native fish. Beautiful little silver, look at that. He's probably 25, 26 centimeters. Absolute ripper. And they always bow their body when you pick them up. Look at that, always. They're so, they're so hard to uh, get a good shot of. I might have to go quickly grab the pliers because he's a uh, mouth purse. Yeah, I'll have to go get the pliers to help him out. I'll put them in my pocket after this, so I don't have to do this again. Oh, there goes the fish. Uh, I was holding him up for a shot, and he just absolutely flipped out of my hands. But uh, he did have a scuff on the cement there, but you can see he's not floating. He's fine. See you, buddy. <laughs> another irresistible Janjuk worm rigged and ready to catch me another fish. So I'm going to cast straight back over to the bubbles with the hope that there's a few more fish hanging around over there. I'll try not to lose sight of my floater this time. <laughs> if I didn't see that line going tighter, I would have missed that fish. Oh, that's a bite. That's a bite. Oh, I missed. Bugger. Did he take my worm? No, it's still there. All right. Hopefully he's still hanging around. I didn't feel any weight. That was a bad cast. <laughs> oh, I think I just waited too long on that one. That's better. He was over there somewhere. Oh, yep. He's under it. Take it. Oh. Sitting in the exact same spot. He might have taken my worm this time. I reckon that's another silver perch. You bastard. <laughs> I better get some more bait quick. Righto, new worm on the hook. Bait back in the same spot. Hopefully he's still sitting there. Got him this time. Oh, he's tiny. Absolutely tiny. <laughs> I won't even bother walking up there. I can wet my hands behind me, but it's another little silver. <laughs> Look, I wet my hands right here in the uh, water behind me. Look at that cute little guy. 
Hold still. Hold still. I'll get you sorted and back in the water, mate. Bow and his body as they do. But this one's about 14 centimetres. Not as big as the last one by a long shot. But two fish on the board. Two silver perch too. Two native fish. Happy, happy. All right, mate. Let's get you back. I wet my other hand. Get your hook out. There we go. I'll give you a kiss like Rex Hunt. Mwah! See you later. <laughs> well, the little bugger mangled my last worm, so I'm going to thread on another one. Bit of a fresh presentation. I threw out the bits of the last one to act as burly to keep them in the area, keep feeding. But uh, I'll thread this one on and hopefully I can catch some more. Whether it's a silver perch or a carp or a red fin or a cod or a yellow belly, I'm just happy to be catching fish. All the action's coming from the edge of the bubbles over there. I'd be silly to cast anywhere else at this point. Oh, there, there we go, there we go. Take it. He's still there. Something little again. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> You've got to be quick. Little bait stealing buggers. Oh, look, there's enough of a worm on there that I'm just going to throw it back out and hope he's still there. About there he was. Oh, he's still on it. Come on, grab it. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't sure whether to strike or not. The float was going sideways, not under. Look, still a little tiniest bit of worm. I can get him with that. I can get him with that. Yep, yep, yep. Come on. Grab it. Oh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this one might be smaller than the last one. I can't get him. He got all the worm, though. Bugger. Rebate time. Well, that's Rob over there setting up. He's just uh, pulled up and had a chat to me. Nice enough bloke. He's going to drown some worms over there, which won't bother me. I'm going to uh, flick my floater back out here, and hopefully the uh, silver perch is still hanging around. Having a lot of fun trying to hook them. Yep, he's still there. Look at that. I must have been chatting to the bloke over there for a few minutes and the fish is still right where he was. Oh, take it. Come on. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Yep, plenty of worm. Back out we go. Right there. There he is. There he is. Oh, that was a good hit. Do it again. Got him. <laughs> Feels like he might be a little bit bigger than the last one, but still not as big as the first. Wet my hand. There we go. Little, I should call them a bowfin. Look at that. I know a bowfin's in America and it's a different fish, but they just bow as soon as you touch them. <laughs> Another beautiful little silver. This one's probably 15 or 16 centimetres maximum. <laughs> I might just take it over to show Rob. There you go, that's what I'm getting over there. Little silver perch. Yeah, absolutely tiny. They're just stealing all my worms. And look at the mouth on it. That's why they're hard to hook. But they're gorgeous. They're a native fish. Go up. There he goes. He's fine. Off he goes in that direction. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> They're lively little things. There's bloody freshwater shrimp sitting right there. And another one there. Look. Right there in front of me. That is unreal. There he goes. Another one. He just shot past another one I can see down there. I'm going to put my shrimp net in here next time. <laughs> Another monster of a Janjuk worm. I'm surprised that the silver perch are even taking these. They are absolutely ginormous for such a tiny mouthed, tiny fish. <laughs> Let's see if the school of silvers is still sitting there. Yep, there he is. All of about 10 seconds until they find that worm floating there. 
Oh, I had him, but he got off. Mustn't have quite been in his mouth. <laughs> Look at that. Half the worm's gone already. I'm going to re-thread that. Worm re-threaded. Back in the same spot. Will they come back in 10 seconds flat again? This is so much fun. <laughs> oh. Oh, come on. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Tiny bit left. Three thread. It's enough to catch him, hopefully. It's enough to get him to bite anyway. Hooking him's another story. Got him. Another toy. This might be the smallest one yet. <laughs> yep. This one's about 10 centimetres long. You're kidding me. <laughs> Alright mate, I wet my hand. Oh, look. Look at the hook. No wonder I'm having so much trouble hooking them. Okay, okay. Chill out. I'll let you flop around till you're ready to relax. There we go. Another beautiful little silver perch. They are on fire today. Alright mate, let's get you unhooked and back in, alright? Calm down and I'll, I'll look after you, I promise. All right, see ya. <laughs> there we go, the tiniest little bit of worm. I've recycled that out of the mouth of the last fish, but maybe less is more with these tiny fish. I might be more likely to hook them with less worm on the hook. Yep, there he is, straight away. Oh, I missed. <laughs> oh, maybe that's that might be a bit too small you know what i'll try it i'll just thread it a bit more still nibbling still nibbling grab it <laughs> oh, yes <laughs> he got off and he took my worm with him Boy, am I glad I got such a big tub of these yesterday because I'm going through them, I can tell you. Sneaky bloody silver perch. <laughs> New worm again. How long till they come back this time? They are fired up out there. There must be hundreds of them. There we go. Just tugging at it. Oh, that was a better bite. Got him. Oh, geez, they're small. <laughs> right, eh? That's enough worm for another fish, surely. Go oh, come on. <laughs> I'm striking while the hook's in their mouth, but I'm just pulling it out. Now, you might be wondering why I'm not downsizing my hook. And that's because they are so ferocious on the bait that if I downsize my hook, I'll gut hook nearly every single one of them. And I would rather have the sport of trying to hook them on this size hook than to hurt the fish. <laughs> yes, come on. Oh, how did I miss that one? <laughs> I'm out of bait again. They are so hard to hook, guys, but I am having an absolute blast here. So much fun. Surely he's on. Oh, he was towing it around in a circle. Now, this might be getting a bit repetitive watching me strike and miss fish after fish after fish. But uh, rest assured, I've missed about 40 fish. I'm not going to show you every single one. It will get a bit boring. But uh, I'll try and show you the exciting bits. This is just non-stop action. Oh, I should have struck on that one. Oh, come on. How did I miss that one? Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> the floater was going sideways. Come on, take it under. Grab it and just swim away with it. 
like that. Yes. Oh no. <laughs> Even when I get them, they just get off. Oh my goodness. I might need to concede defeat on this hook and chuck on one a little bit smaller, but not too much smaller. Right, so that's the hook I was using. Now I've gone for a smaller hook, but it's a long shank hook. So with a bit of luck, it won't gut hook the fish, but it'll have a better chance of fitting in their mouth. And I might cut this in half, I think. That's just too much worm for that tiny hook. Just goes to show how big those Janjuk worms really are. <laughs> Oh, he was literally towing it around in a circle. I still couldn't hook him. And he still stole half my worm. <laughs> well, at this stage, I've hooked four or five fish and I've lost 40 or 50. <laughs> I'm at a 10% conversion rate here, but it's so worth it. I'm having so much fun. I don't care how many worms I have to go through. Righto, I've conceded defeat yet again. I've gone for the smaller style bait holder hook, not a long shank, because the fish over there are so tiny, I don't think there's any danger of gut hooking one. And I've downsized the bobber as well, because the thought occurred to me that maybe they're not powerful enough to pull that other one under and they're letting it go. So we'll give this rig a try. And if I still can't hook them on this, I might have to give up. <laughs> There we go, come on, take it. Take it down, come on. They're still struggling. Smaller hook, smaller bobber, and they're still struggling to take the bait. Oh! <laughs> I can't win here. I reckon I've caught all the big fish that were in that school, well big, I've caught the larger fish from that school and the rest of them are just too small to take the hook. They're trying though and I'm having fun trying to get them. I'm going to try something different. I can't seem to hook them out there no matter what bobber or rig I use. So I've taken the bobber off completely, going straight for a split shot and a hook. I'll cast it in the same area and hope that they're more willing to take it. Got him. Yes. Taking the bobber off done the trick. He's a little bit bigger than some of the others. Not as big as the first one I got still. But he's closer to 20 centimetres this one. Wet my hands. <laughs> and there they go bowing as usual. Right, I'll get him unhooked first and then we'll try and have a look at him without him curling up like a silly bugger. Oh, don't get away yet. I'm just going to hold him like that or he's uh, going to get away. But there you go, 18, probably 18 centimetre one. The second biggest one of the day so far. But uh, yeah, taking the bobber off did the trick. It allowed me to detect the bite much more easily. They were just feeling the weight of that bobber and letting it go, I think. All right, mate. Thank you very much. You're keeping me very entertained today. See you later. <laughs> They've made absolute mincemeat out of my worm. Look at that. <laughs> Most of it isn't even on the hook anymore. Most of it's come up the line. I might just pull them bits off as burly and thread back on what's still on the hook. One recycled worm ready to catch me another one, hopefully. Is there a fish on there? I was just pulling it in. I didn't know I had one on there. <laughs> that wasn't even a proper strike. I was just like, oh well, time to move the bait. And uh, he must have grabbed it right as I started winding because I didn't feel anything till I turned the handle. <laughs> there we go. Another beautiful little silver perch. One of the smallest for the day. Probably not the smallest, but he's definitely up there. Or down there, I should say. Get the hook out. There we go. Whoop. Oh, you keep doing that. Oh, look, he's fine. They are so slippery and spiky. The second they kick, they're very hard to hang on to. I just wanted to give him a gentle push in that direction, but he helped himself uh, down the cement staircase. <laughs> He'll be fine. They're resilient little buggers. 
Well, the bite's still hot. Another fresh worm on the hook. Let's hopefully catch another couple before I have to go. Oh, I had him, but he got off. Bugger. Come on. I've probably got about 10 minutes left. I just want to catch one more. And then I'll be happy. Well, I'm already happy, but <laughs> one more will make me very happy. <laughs> oh, there was a bite before it even hit the bottom and I missed it. I wasn't ready. Oh, and again. Well, those two little bites when I wasn't ready was enough to take the entire worm. I think I've got enough time to donate one more worm to the silver perch family. There we go. My last offering to the silver perch gods. May it land me one more. Oh, yes, I... Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's a silver perch. It's the biggest one I've ever seen. Oh, wow. Looks like I'm ending the day on a snag. <laughs> well, I came for the carp, but I stayed for the silver perch. I've had an absolute blast fishing here today. I caught seven or eight, I think, and I lost more than I can count. Easily 50 or 60 fish. But, uh... They're still biting, I'm just run out of time. <laughs> a snag has forced my hand, I have to go home. But if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and I'll see you next time.